section as well. So hi everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you from the Olympiad Success family to all the new ones and the old ones. A very, very warm welcome. So I'm, I'm Aarti Mehta and I'll be your host for today. So kids like we have gathered here for class six CBSC uh, mathematics course, okay? So uh, kids, you know, like um, sixth class, as you all know, it's the building block, okay? And you have to really focus on your studies. You have to build up your strong, uh, foundation strong. And uh, for this, we have uh, brought in a really rigorous CBSE course, which is 10 months long. And uh, in this, we would be referring to R.S. Agarwal uh, book. So you should understand that uh, it's not your regular NCRT course. It's like a bit level up, okay? It's a level high than your regular CBSC curriculum because we would be, you know, covering each and everything from RS Agarwal book. And um, when I say it's rigorous, so you should understand that you would be given many, many things to do, okay? So you would be given uh, tests, topic-wise tests, okay? After every topic, there would be a test conducted. So you have to make sure that you have to submit your answers. And uh, we would be, you know, like in classroom, there there would be many questions solved, but then there would be some homework given to you also, which you need to solve. Correct? So are you all ready for the challenge? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's great. So let me tell you the flow of this session. So first of all, there would be an introduction by your mentor, uh, Kamal Deep, ma'am. After that, we will be having a short presentation by Rajan sir. He would be explaining you uh, the detail about this course. Okay. So all the like all the things related to this course would be there in the presentation. So I request all of you to hear to the presentation really carefully. And uh, after the presentation, we would be having a short question and answer round. So you have to ask us as many questions as possible. Okay, and we would be happy to answer all these uh, questions. You have to write it down in the chat section and then we will be answering all your questions. Mm. Post the question and answer round, we will be starting with the demo session. Okay, for which you all are here. Got it kids? Everything clear? Yes? Okay, can I get a yes. nice smile on everyone's face? Okay, thank you. Kids always looks good smiling. I like it. So over to Kamal Deep, ma'am. Um, hello, everyone. I hope you all can hear me nicely. Right? Okay, so everyone ready? Okay, can I request everyone to please turn on your video so that I can see you all well? Like you all are happy to see me and I'm happy to see you all. Yo, thank you so much. Thanks, Satan. Thank you. All right, children. So I'll start with the brief introduction. So like I am Kamaldi. I am your mentor for this class for grade six. So all of you are in grade six, right? And I hope all of you like maths. Yes. All right. Very good. So children, I welcome all of you for today's session. And I have been associated and with and I have been coaching children from last like six years and I love to be with kids. I love to talk to you all and I want the same from you. Okay, so we can talk, talk in the sense like when we are studying, we can interact with each other. We can ask our queries to each other, right? All right. So, you know, grade six is a very important year. You know why? Because grade six is the basics of all. So basics of all as in like grade 7, grade 8, grade 9, all the chapters will remain same. So this is the base and we have to build the building over it. So base has to be strong enough for the strong building. So that is why grade 6 is very, very important for all the concepts. So if any, whenever we will have a session, if anyone of you is not understanding anything, you will not understand, you have to ask me. And then we can have the session. All right. So this is a 10 month course. We all know. So in this 10 month course, in our classes, we have regular classes. First thing, second thing, you all have to be regular in the classes. And then we have a session. We'll have the explanation of the topic and then the application of that topic, that particular concept that we are learning in the class. Right. And after every topic we will be having a small topic test if you have any queries you can ask me before the test and we will be referring to rs agarwal for this and 
Mm, what else? Okay, and also I want regularity in the class with good and whatever homework is given. I want all of you to submit me, and I want all of you to interact with me as much as possible. Right, children? Okay, so if you have any answers, queries, or something, you can ask me in the chat box. Okay, thank you so much, Kamal Deepa. Right, it's you. really a pleasure yeah. to have you on the platform. Thank okay, you so much. Thank you, thank you thank so much, you, Aman. Asti, yeah. Thank you, Aman. Uh, okay, Aman is saying, ma'am, I'm known as the king of science. That's wonderful, oh Aman. God. So we'll be wonderful. asking you few nice. science questions. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now over to you, Rajan sir, for a quick presentation about this course, yeah, and sure. then we will be starting with the question and answer round. Sure, ma'am. So, students, my screen is visible. You can show the thumb if it is visible. Okay, yes, it's okay. visible Thank now. You. So, welcome to more of class C Mathematics TBSC. Okay. So, let me tell you about us about Olympiad Success. So, Olympiad Success is India's largest online platform for Olympiad exams. We have Olympiad live classes, this third year in live classes, and again, it is India's first exclusive live classes for Olympiad profession. We have School Plus program. In School Plus program, we have eight courses, Mathematics, English, Logical Link, Science, Communication, Communication Spoken and Written Booth, Vedic Maths, and Coding. What else? We offer online CBSE classes for grades 6 to 12. One of my preparation classes for International Mathematics Olympiad, like CESMO, CMO, Hong Kong International Mathematics Olympiad, Thailand International Mathematics Olympiad, Math Count, US Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, and PRMO. And we offer J Ming uh, proficient classes. Uh, meet our rank holder for session 2021. So for 21 22, we are compiling the results and we will release soon. So we got 40 plus international rank one, 70 plus five international rank, and 120 plus top 10 international rank in various Olympiad exams. Now, about this course, there will be 20 students and class will be conducted on Zoom platform. There will be two sessions per week. Days will be Tuesday and Thursday. Timing will be 6.45 to 7.45. So the duration of the class will be one hour. The session include make theory, practice question, doubt session, and we will also discuss previous year paper. So this year we will uh, referring RS Agarwal book, okay? Now the fees for this course will be 16,650 and the duration will be 10 months, okay? The payment link and the syllabus link I will share in the chat box. The fee include online classes and practice of previous year paper. And students, if you enroll today, you will get free Crest Olympiad exam, that is CMO exam. Now, what you require to join this course, a laptop with good internet speed and headphone, okay? And students will be required to spend few hours every day to copy curriculum. As we are going to give homework to you, assignments, you need to do that, okay? You need to submit it. So that you can uh, like uh, can help you uh, in progress. Now the live classes for this course will start from 29th March. So currently we have uh, students from 3,800 schools, and we are catering in 35 plus countries. So students, this is for this course. Now, if you have any question or any doubt, you can ask in the chat box. Otherwise, Rajan sir will be asking you a few questions, and those we those will be really very tough questions. Right, Rajan sir? Yes, ma'am, correct. Any questions, kids, in the chat section? No questions. So everyone All understands what are the days uh, on which we have the class? Okay, let me know in the chat box on which days we have class. Let's see how many of you are active. 29th March. Okay, I'm starting. asking about days. Okay, Tuesday, Thursday. Okay. There's uh, when, a question uh, from okay. Kahan. The timing be Can the timing eight? be 7 to 8? Kahan, I'm so sorry. Uh, the timings are fixed because this is a group batch. Okay, so we have already uh, decided the timings. So as per the student's availability and the best possible time which we could give. So this would be from 6.45 to 7.45. So I think so it's just a 15 minute adjustment. You see like uh, if you have any prior commitments that can be pre put and uh, you can enroll for this batch. Okay. Yeah, no, the timing is not 7 to 8. It is 6.45 to 7.45. 
okay so any question anyone have no no question so can we start with the demo then okay so i think arti ma'am we can start with the demo sure all all know everything here <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so we should start with the demo yeah. then okay so just one last question uh, can you tell me like uh, how many classes will be there in this course how many classes this is a very interesting question mathematics question you are here for mathematics so how many classes will be there in this entire course first thing for one month then think for 10 months eighty yes arda so there are two classes per week which makes eight classes per month and there are uh, like the total length is 10 months okay so the duration of this course is 10 months so one month we have eight classes so 10 months it will be 80 thank you so much arnav and shijil thank you and over to you kamal deep ma'am for the uh, for the demo okay right thank you so okay, much okay ma'am now you have become the math king also great so we <laughs> would expect answers from you and everybody else also okay yeah all right children thank you so much arti ma'am okay children ready okay just give me two minutes i'm sharing my screen okay so any one of you have your favorite topics let me see if i have chosen the favorite topic of anyone in math any favorite topic children okay or you can guess what topic i'm going to take today geometry oh my god all right all right all right yes perimeter and area okay add with r all right all right let me share my screen Just give me a second. Okay. Can you see my screen, children? Ma'am, is my screen visible? Ah, uh, no, ma'am, it is not. Okay. You can share again. Okay. all right so who said this area and perimeter i think one of you said na that this is your favorite topic okay so we all are aware of the name area and perimeter right so i am sure you have you okay right yeah keep on showing me thumbs up so that you know i can see that yes you people are understanding what i am saying okay right so you know why do we need area and perimeter you can answer me in the chat box okay whenever i say something uh, in our class i can unmute you but today i can't so you can answer me in my chat box 
Okay, Kahan says my exam just finished. Okay, Kahan. So, so this is let's try to make it a little bit more fun for you, right? Uh, yes, Aman, you want to ask something? Okay, so Tharun, we are just starting with the topic, with the demo session with area and perimeter, right? So, you know, why do we need area and perimeter? Okay, for making photo frame. All right, so for making photo frame, we need area or we need perimeter? Yes, to find out the length and width of the boundary, right? Okay, so the area of the garden, right? Right. So it's and even if you want to have a whitewash and all in your house, then also you want area, perimeter. Right. Okay, nice. Okay. So perimeter is the distance around the outside of a flat, right, children? So if I say if it is a distance of a, around the, this is just a distance outside. So we are just talking about the boundary part. Whatever be the size, whatever be the shape of the boundary, right? And area is the amount of surface space that a flat object has. So if I'm talking about area, so you can see the small figure on the side. So we are talking about area means the inside area. Right, so this is area, but when I am talking about perimeter, so I'm just talking about the outside boundary, the pink boundary, then I'm not going inside. So if I have to fence my, if I have to fence my garden, so I will look for area or perimeter. If I have to fence my garden, I will look for area or perimeter. Right, so we look for perimeter, right. And if I have to put the if I have to put the tiles, then I will look for area or perimeter. Right, then I look for area. So this is the first thing that we need to figure out the difference between area and the perimeter. All right, children. Thank you so much for answering. All right. So here we have looking for circle, rectangle, triangle, and squares. So let's talk about circle. So what do you think? If I talk about circle, perimeter, what is the circle perimeter called as? Anyone has any idea? Circles perimeter. This one different name for circles perimeter. Yes, circumference, that's right. So that is, and in circle, what is the most important thing? That is radius. So if we know the radius of a circle, this is R. This is the radius. Uh, yes. So this is the radius. And the double the radius is diameter. And if I am talking about the circumference, so this is the outer boundary. That is. So if I open this, if I open this circle, what will what will I get? If I have to suppose this is 10 meter long rope. Can I make a circle with a 10 meter long rope? Yes, right. Anna says yes. All right. Yes, we can make. So that is the circumference means that what is the length of the boundary? So that is called a circumference. All right. And what is the formula for that? Circumference is 2 pi r. Anyone have, has ever heard this formula 2 pi r? Okay, so you people are aware of it. That's good. If anyone of you have not understood or if you have not heard about it, you can always ask. You can stop and ask me. All right, Shriji said no. Okay, Shriji. So when I talk about a circumference, it is the perimeter. Like the perimeter of a circle has a different name called a circumference. It is called as 2 pi r. Sorry. Right, so when it is 2 pi r, 2, and the value of pi is 22 by 7. It is the set value, it is fixed to 2, 22 by 7, and the radius, whatever radius is given to us, that is. So similarly, if we put the values here, we'll get the circumference, right? 
Okay, you can't understand two. So this is the formula. Two pi means twenty two by seven, and r means radius. So if the radius of a circle is seven, if the radius of a circle is seven, can you give me the circumference of a circle? If the radius is seven centimeters, what will be the circumference of a circle? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So I got two correct answers also. So two times twenty-two by seven times seven. So here I can cancel seven and seven, and that is forty-four centimeter is the perimeter, right? Yeah. Yes. I got many couple of correct answers. Good children, right? So now. All right. So if I have to now, what what shape is it that is coming on my screen? What is the shape coming on my screen, children? Yeah, rectangle. Right. So if I know the length and the width of my rectangle, can you all tell me that? Oh, how can I find out the perimeter? Yes. If I know length, this is also the length. This is also the width. So. i will say perimeter is equals to length plus w plus length plus width that is twice of l plus twice of yeah breadth or width it's one and all the same thing and then it is twice of l plus w right children anyone has a doubt in this perimeter in the rectangle's perimeter Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. So that is called the perimeter, the boundary. Okay. So now here it is the area. So if it's the area of a rectangle, that means length and breadth. Means I'll multiply length and width, length and breadth. So I'll get the area of a rectangle. Right, area is length times breadth. So area of a square will be same or different. The formula will remain the same for different. Okay, okay. So it is length times breadth or length times length for the square also. Right. Okay. So shall I ask you one small question? So if my length is five and width is four, can you give me the perimeter? Oh, sorry, area. I'm sorry, sorry. Along with the unit. Yes, twenty centimeters square. And similarly, if I don't know the width, if I don't know the width. Uh, I don't know what is the width, and I know area as fifteen centimeter square. Can I get the width? Yes. So how will I get it? Area is equals to length times width, and area is fifteen. Length is given to me as five. I am supposed to find out the width. So width is equals to fifteen upon five, right? But make sure that sorry. So make sure that you look at the unit. Unit has to be the same. If one unit is centimeters. another unit is meters you have to make sure that you convert both of the units into the same the unit has to be the same then only you can go ahead with it any doubt children please write me in the chat box if you have all understood show me keep on showing it thumbs up aryan what happened no you said no yeah please say what no you have understood or you have not understood No doubt. Okay, Riyaz understood. Okay, Riyaz, thank, thank you, thank you so much. 
<clears throat> okay. All right, so perimeter of a square. So we all know the perimeter will remain as perimeter. So we have if I have to find out the if I have to find out the perimeter of a park means the park is like five okay they're ten meters long small park I'm not talking about long park okay Amrit Amrit you have a doubt please ask. Okay, if I'm with them waiting for your question. So it's totally your choice, Amrit. Width or breadth. In your question, anything can come. So you understand one is length, another side is the breadth or the width. Right? It depends on question to question. Okay, fine. You can go ahead with breadth also, but if there any question, width will come, so don't get confused. Uh, no, W is the width and generally B for the breadth. Width, W, breadth is B. Okay, so you can just say length times breadth. If you find it easy to say, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Clear? All right, is it clear, children? Okay. So if, okay, I was talking about my path, which is 10 meter. So what will be the perimeter here? Along, please, children, please focus on unit. All right, very good. 40 meter because it is four times site. That is 4 times 10, that is 40 meter. Can you please tell me the area also, children, along with the unit this time? All right, square meters, 100 square meters. Good, 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 good. Okay, so now good to go. Okay, let's move ahead. So here is the area, you all know now. Area means length into length because it is a square. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what's the question right now? Okay, Arna says it is 100 square meter. Okay, so Arna, uh, see, I'll write it down. So if I'm writing in words, so 100 square meter and but if i have to show it 100 so both of them are same okay 100 square meter or 100 meter square so this is both of them are same it's coming from where it is coming from 10 meters time 10 meters so we are multiplying meters also two times therefore it was coming 100 to square and if you're writing in words so we can also write it as straight square meters Clear? All right, thank you. So let's move ahead. Okay, so same children, here also the perimeter of a triangle will remain as it is. Perimeter is A plus B plus C means we'll just add all the sides. So any shape comes in, whether it is a triangle, it's a rectangle, square, or any shape which doesn't have a name. Ultimately, we have to add all the, all the boundary, or only the boundary side, then it will give us the perimeter. All right. So here is the area of a triangle. We will talk about it. All right, so, all right, so here we have few challenge questions. So let's discuss them together. So one we'll do together, another you can do it yourself and you have to give me the answer.
All right, so here we have the Pete. He wants to add and change number of things in his house. So what we have to do, we have to find out the area and perimeter calculations for him. So we'll help him out here and find out how much all of these changes will cost. So here we have to do two, three things, area, perimeter, and also the cost at how much that area will cost him. How much the perimeter would, because if we are doing something in the house, we need money for that. If we know the area, then we should know the cost also. Okay. No, no problem, Shijil. If your typing is slow, it's okay. You can type. I'll wait for your answers. Don't worry. All right. So here is the first question. The size of the area is how much? Yeah, the size of the area is 12 meter by 6 meter. So how many square meters of carpet will feet need? Uh, so we need for, okay, first we have to discuss the area of a carpet. So our carpet is how much area we need. So 12 meters is the length. Breadth is 6 meter. So we have to find out the area. Oh my God, if people are quick, you all are giving me the answers as well. Very nice. So, okay. So this is the carpet. Carpet is 12 meters by 6 meters. So how many square meters of carpet will we need? So this is meters. I'm focusing on my units as well. 12 times 6 is how much? So area will give us length time breadth. That is 12 times 6. 12 times 6 is 72 square, right? So this is the area that we got. How many square meters of carpet will feet need? So this is. So now one square meter of carpet cost 4. Work out how much he will have to pay. All right, many num number of right answers. Very good. And people are good at it. Very good. So how much? So if for one square meter, the cost is four dollars, or you can say four rupees. So what will be the cost of when we have to cover 72 square meters of area? So the cost will be four is for four rupees is for one square meter. For 72 square meters, it has to be four times 72 that will be 288 right any doubts okay very good children i got all, almost all the answers were correct okay great friends thank you branch is still clear awesome uh -huh. Let's go to the next one. Pete has number of things to do in the house. So this is the first thing that he has done. Now we are going to the second thing. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry for being late. All right, so here. Now it's the time for bedroom. The length of the wall is six meters and the width is four meters. What is the size of the wall in square meters? In square meters. So we need perimeter or we need area. Yes, we need area. That's right. Yes. So first you all have. Okay. Okay. Anna has given me the answer as well. Sheikh, very good. Ryanj, very good. Advit, very good. Nice. All right. So first we will find out the area because they are telling us to find out the size of the wall in square meters. If they will say only meters, I will go for perimeter. But here they are telling me for square meters. So I'll go for area. And because they are supposed to paint and just look at the second question. They are saying one liter of paint is dollar ten, And he needs one liter for every square meter. For one square meter, he needs one liter of paint. So for 24 square meter, 
how much paint is required? Yes. Oh, uh, why dollar to forty children? We need. Okay, fine. Dollar, fine, fine, fine. Your answer is correct. But so it's dollar to forty for the complete wall to paint. All right. Next one. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Arnav, Riyansh, Advit. Any more answers, children? Any doubts? So along with the answer, if you have a doubt, you can ask me then and there. Okay. Next. Now we are in the kitchen. So the length of the area is five meters and the width is three meters. How many square meter is the area? This is they are talking about the kitchen bench. Again, it's meter. Tarun, it's meters. Okay, yeah. And then the cost of the tile. Now again, they have to put up the tiles. So we'll go for area. Or we'll go for perimeter, so we'll go for area because they have to put up the pile tiles in the middle of the bench, right? So the cost of the tile for bench top is dollar eight per square meter. How many square meters do we have? Fifteen square meters. And then we'll get the answer as okay. Anyone wants me to do the working? Yes, right, Advit. Right, Rians. Right or no? Oh, oh, wait. Please. 15. Okay, what's the answer, children? Can you give me the final answer? I've got one answer is incorrect. Uh, Riyash, why 162? Okay, 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 fine. Yes, yeah, so five times three, 15 meters square is the area. And then the cost will be 15 times eight. Yes, yes. Now correct. All right, so please mention units also, okay? Beware with the units because that is where we get the silly mistake and we lose our marks. And especially in CBSC, they are very particular when we have to write down the unit and the steps along with the formula. Right, you first write down the formula and then you'll write down the steps. All right. So here we have the next question. So graph area. Area and perimeter. The backyard is a perfect square with a length of 12 meter. What's the area? All right, all right. Uh, Advit, why it is two? Actually, you're giving me Advit. No, I'm just on the first question. I'm just on the first question as of now. This one first. So, what is the area? The square area is equal to length times length. That is 12 times 12 times 12. That is 144. Where we so. Right? Now, the cost of the grass is $1.20 per square meter. So, cost will be $1.44 times 20. Yes. Right. That is $2.880. Right. Dollar. Two eight eight zero. Anyone has a doubt till here? Whatever we have done, we have still we have covered a rectangle completely. We have covered square. All right, shake Advait, right Advait, very good Advait. You have just written down the yes, yes. We are. I know we are moving on the triangle as well. Very. All right, so let's move ahead.
All right. So here, the length of the fence is fifteen meter, and the width is ten meters. So you have to find out the total perimeter. The length of the fence is fifteen meter, and width is ten. So what will be the uh, total perimeter here? Okay, fifteen meter is the perimeter, right? And the cost of the paint is dollar six per square meter. So the cost will be how much? Um, nine thousand nine hundred. What is the right answer? One answer, please. Hmm. Okay. Can anyone explain me here how nine hundred? What is one fifty kashan? Okay, so here, so here, what we'll do is yes, right, children. So the length of the fence is how much? So the cost of the paint is this much per square meter. So when they are talking about the cost of a paint, so here we have to find out the area also. Right, and then when we know the area, now we'll find out the cost. The total cost will be how much? This is one fifty multiplied by six. That is, yes, that's right. Absolutely right, sir. Correct. Okay. Yeah, somebody was asking me about the triangle also. Yeah. Okay. Let me share my whiteboard. So if I have a triangle, if this is three, five, and four, so what will be the perimeter here? Okay, let me write down the units also. Right, right, twelve centimeters. The right, correct. And so, just somebody asked me, so I'm mentioning over here. So, if we know the height, if the height is suppose you can say two centimeter. So, when we talk about Triangle area is equals to half base into height. So this is the base, and this is the height. Okay, and then we'll put the values. And anyone can tell me the double the area of a triangle will be the area of. rectangle yes so if i just so if this is my rectangle this is just for fun this is nothing i mean if this is the rectangle and half of the area of rectangle now we know that this is uh, length oh, sorry this is breadth this is length so when i know the area of rectangle is equals to length into breadth and when i talk about Area of a triangle, that is, area of triangle is half of the area of rectangle, that is, b times l. So that gives us the area of a triangle, right? Not today, not today. We'll not do parallelogram today. Yes, we'll just go ahead with. Oh, um, now doubts. Now we can. You now, if you all have any doubts related to square. Related to circle, or related to rectangle, you all can ask me your doubts. Any doubts, whatever doubt you have. 
ओके ओके राइट 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 व्हाट इज जस्ट सेकंड यस इट इज डबल द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल ओके other units of triangle so the unit can be anything centimeters meters that is what you are asking or just elaborate your question if you have any okay no more questions height and breadth are two what are the other two means length breadth and so okay, that we will go for volume then that we will use when we go we will go for volume here we are talking about area and perimeter okay i think ma'am uh, yes do we have more time or we can take more questions or it's okay or uh, like it's just a just an hour class so uh, okay so i'll uh, sit down right rajan sir oh uh, yeah sure ma'am sure <laughs> okay thank you thank you for the wonderful session ma'am uh, students thank you so uh, much if you sir. have any if you have any question you can ask any query related to course do you have okay let me tell you how was the session in the chat box how was the session uh aro says oh. i don't understand 1 by 2 in the area of triangle okay that is the half i mean to say half of the area of rectangle is the area of a triangle that is what i meant to say half 1 by 2 means half okay so students uh, in the chat box i have shared one link okay so please save this link and like to register for this course what you need to do you need to uh, like go on payment link and then you can register for this course okay okay i'm getting some uh, uh, like children. response here wonderful session wonderful class thank you miss oh, oh, thank you thank you everyone so thank you children. Uh, i'm i'm sharing the links again in the chat box please save this link okay now uh, kamaldeep ma'am will meet you in the live class okay students so Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Arjun. Right. Thank you, Kamal Dibam. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, children. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye bye. Thank bye. you, children. Bye bye.